Hello friends, so I just filmed an IG tips video in my office. Look how cute this little corner is. So I filmed in here just to spice things up a little bit. Brit and I are going to Seattle in two days. So I'm actually gonna do some packing today. I have to clean up this room because it is a mess. And I have a couple more um, work things that I need to do. I just heat up the sauna. So I'm gonna go sit in the sauna for a little bit. Bianca, put your hand down. Well, hop up. Hi, puppy. He's so excited. <laughs> I just got out of my little boxing lesson and I trained with this guy named Bobby and he was the one that originally taught me how to box like years ago and he's one of my favorite trainers ever and he's gotten me so like strong and I feel like boxing is also just such a great cardio workout so if any of you are in Seattle I highly recommend him it's very one-on-one -on -one very safe and they do personal training if you want to do like one-on-one -on -one boxing as well I highly recommend his gym is called fortified fitness I'm actually headed to meet my assistant who's actually my cousin I got pompous grass in my office but the vase that I originally have is just kind of too big so she actually was like why don't you go to Goodwill and spray paint a vase and I was like do I look like I have time for that so she ended up going to Goodwill. She found a vase for like a couple of toilets and she painted it and she's gonna give it to me and I can bring it home with me and try putting my pompous in it and see how it looks. But we're actually gonna meet for some coffee too and just hang out because I haven't seen her in like years. Um, and she started working for me this year. So oh my God, look how pretty the skyline is. I just love Seattle, I miss being here. So anyways, I'm gonna go meet my assistant for some coffee.
Good morning. I'm on the way to my haircut. I'm getting my little baby bangs back. Um, yesterday, I saw my assistant. I have to show you the vase that she made. It is so freaking cute. And then my sister and I ended up shooting some content. So you probably already saw the clips, but um, we just wanted to take some fun outfit photos. And my sister, she's like trying to be an influencer or whatever, but she doesn't really have like friends to take her photos for her. And I have my camera and I can edit the pictures really quick. We went to the parking garage, but it was funny because there was a couple other girls that were shooting there. And I feel like in Seattle, this was never a mainstream thing until TikTok. So it's kind of funny. Right now I'm going to actually meet Brandon at our haircut because he's actually there right now getting his. So we're just getting a little touch up. So I will see you guys. took Brandon boxing with me for the first time. How do you feel? You like Good. it? Overwhelmed. Yeah, we learned a lot because my instructor, I was like, can I invite Brandon to come with? And he was like, sure. So we had Brandon come and he tried to squeeze in like three lessons worth all into one, but it was fun. I wish we were able to come back like multiple times. We were sure able to stay there for like three hours. I know, because we had so much fun and the hour was up so quick, but yeah. he did good. So I am actually getting ready because I have to shoot some photos for Everlane. I just blew out my bangs and I'll go ahead and insert a little clip, but oh my God, they look so cute. I have to take some pictures today for Everlane, like I said, so I'm just doing a quick makeup look. Bran and I went boxing this morning and it was great. Definitely want to look into getting a trainer back in California. But this weekend in Seattle, it's supposed to snow. We're supposed to have historic levels of snow. We're currently at uh, Brandon's mama's house. This house is just so pretty. Like, I feel like his mom just knows what's going on with decoration and stuff. So I wanted to come here, shoot my photos, and then I'm gonna go back home and hang out with my sister for the day. Plus, if it's actually supposed to snow, I just don't want to drive and don't want to have to deal with that. That way, if we get snowed in, I'll be with my family. I love doing chatty get ready with me's and I feel like I don't do them enough. I like filming vlogs and get ready with me's, but they just take so long to edit just because like for a vlog, it's usually like over a week's worth of footage. And so that's, I don't know. 40, 50 videos that I have to go through and then put it all together. So same for like get ready with me's. But if you guys like watching them, make sure you thumbs it up um, because that helps me out a lot and that lets me know that you wanna see more of that. I'm using the Bite mascara. So far, I like it. I always use a layer of waterproof mascara underneath and so my lashes stay curled all day and this mascara gets my lashes looking nice and thick I'm Using this L'Oreal concealer. I actually recently decluttered my makeup and tossed this because I my previous one I had for such a long time, but L'Oreal just sent me the powder actually that went viral on TikTok and it's now sold out everywhere, but I actually really, really enjoy this powder. I don't need to do any type of serious makeup, just like a quick, something that looks good and colored as you know. Anyways, you guys know I love my Pachita Brow Wax and I'm actually gonna be working with them. They're one of my dream brands and I feel like I talk about them so much. I was catching up with my girlfriend Rainier and she was telling me that I need to try the ABH Brow Freeze, which is like their brow wax thing that they just came out with and I'm definitely intrigued. Oh, also, I got my hair cut yesterday. I actually went to see a new hair guy because my other hair guy is Joe Bay and he recently got hand surgery. And so he wasn't able to do my hair, but Brandon's loyal to his hairstylist. And so I decided to try him out because he's really good with um, girls hair. So I went to him and I love the way it looks. I pretty much told him I wanted a little bit more layers 
and curtain bangs. I had bangs at one point, but I really did not style them while I had them. I feel like I got them right before quarantine and I just got super lazy with my hair and didn't do anything with it. So if you guys are in Seattle and looking for a new hair guy, Beto, I don't know if I already mentioned that, he is the best and he's located um, in Kirkland. So pretty central to like Seattle or where wherever you live. So I love him. He did such a good job with my hair and even sitting in his chair, he was just like such a genuine and kind person to talk to. So I highly recommend it. Honest Beauty Cream Blush. And I forgot how good this is. Honest Beauty is underrated. I like their skincare, I like their makeup and like this cream blush. You guys know I love cream blush, but this is such a pretty color. It's in the shade Rose Pink but it's very pigmented, it blends out really nicely. I like this powder, it is pretty. It gives my skin like a really airbrush finish, but from the TikToks I've seen, people were using the powder in here and applying this all over their face as a powder foundation. And I just feel like that would look so heavy on my skin. So I like just a light layered. I also feel like my eye baggies are out of control because I've not been sleeping a lot. Rainier. My dear girlfriend who is here on YouTube, we went to the park the other day and got coffee and she brought me a little care package and got me these two cover effects palettes because she thought that I'd really like them, but I've never tried them. And so I've been playing around with them for the last few days and I really, really enjoy them. I just think that was the most thoughtful thing ever. And I actually ended up bringing her a little skincare care package too. Wow, like this bronzer is so pretty and I love that it's dual sided how pretty that blush is. So I'm actually gonna mix the two because I prefer more shimmery blush. Um, it's very, very pigmented. And this is the finished look. Quick and easy, looks good in pictures and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my campaign. Good morning, Brad and I really slept in. It's currently 9.55, I have a call right now. Look at my setup. We are currently at Brandon's mama's house and the Wi-Fi here is awful. So I realized that in the pantry, it's not that bad. So I have a call in like five minutes. So this is my current setup. Pantry's right there, that's a fridge. the parking lot <laughs> look at this Is little chick like to go? <laughs> like the poor people <laughs> <laughs> back up more back, back up, up more back up more back up more back that ass up bam guys i made it <laughs> Past 1 a.m. Good morning, 
have a couple campaigns that I need to shoot today. It snowed a ton last night and this morning, so there's a ton of snow outside. I'm also at my parents' house and it's messy. <laughs> Wow, I did a little like quick blow dry situation and I feel like my hair looks so good. My hair uh, stylist added some new layers because previously I had had a blunt cut. So now when I do nothing to my hair, it just looks so much more sophisticated and chic. Hello, oh nice. It's for my vlog, welcome to my vlog. I wish I could play music while I get Ready. This is my Rare Beauty Concealer. This one is a little lighter coverage than my L'Oreal Concealer. I really like it. I also brought a facial steamer here because I'm actually doing an ad with uh, Vanity Planet. I didn't get a chance to shoot it before I left, so I brought it here with me and I'm actually so glad I brought it. I think every single time I fly anywhere cold, I think I'm gonna bring it with me because it has been making my skin like really lock in that moisture and hydration. Even though I have oily skin in the winter, my skin gets really dehydrated. So you just wanna make sure that you're catering not only to your skin type, but also weather, you know? Today's Saturday. Yesterday was Lunar New Year and we didn't really do anything. My mom didn't even have La Save, which part of Lunar New Year tradition is when you say Happy New Year to your, your elders. They're supposed to give you little red envelopes that have money in them, also known as La Save in Vietnamese. We never really do like much for it, you know? I feel like we're not super big into really any holiday except for Christmas. Our Christmas tree is still up. And it's very chaotic energy in this house, which I very much miss. This Supergroup CC screen is so, it just looks so good on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Look at her hair. What are you doing? It's for my vlog. I need a haircut. Makeup is snatch, ready to take some pics in the snow. My sister and I are actually going to film a makeup tutorial together. We're going to have my dad do a voiceover. So we're going to do a cute little collab. I'm just setting up the camera right now. This is the finished look we created. It's actually kind of similar. But if you guys want to see my dad's voiceover, stay tuned. Um, we, we just, just we just landed. landed. Our flight was like 
an hour and a half it felt like it was so quick he slept the entire way but we just got to a little testing area and i'm gonna get covid tested hello friends so brand and i are finally back home and it just feels so good to be back in the sunshine we had so much fun back in seattle we both got covid tested and we're negative and of course we wanted to be super safe while we were there but it was just so good to see everyone i got to see a few of my friends while i was there but mainly wanted to spend time with my family i could tell my parents missed me and my dad cooked a different dish every single night that he knew i loved food is just a love language <laughs> and I'm actually back in chicken. I'm actually currently flossing, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because it is a little bit long, but I hope you all enjoyed. I also did a couple of fun videos while I was in Seattle, so I'll be sure to link it either up in the eye or down below, and I will see you all next time. Bye.